A determined look on his face as he takes the oath of office to become Africa's youngest elected president. Under my leadership, Senegal will be a country of hope, a country at peace, with an independent justice system and a strengthened democracy. This is my promise, based on the oath I have just taken before God and the nation, in your presence. And in his first speech, Faye harped on unity and peace, while vowing to tackle corruption. I am aware that the results of the ballot box express a profound desire for systemic change. Through my election, the Senegalese people have committed themselves to building a fair Senegal, a prosperous Senegal, a progressing Africa. Right here at the International Conference Center in Senegal, history has finally been made. The youngest president in the continent, Asiru Diomaye Faye, has been sworn in as the next president of Senegal. The days ahead will show if he's able to meet the expectations of Senegalese in tackling the issue of boosting the economy and also tackling the issue of youth unemployment. As expected, thousands of Senegalese inside and outside the international center are waiting to see how the president will, from day one, take charge of affairs. This is an exciting day and I would say a historical day. Because, uh, as you know, Senegal is one of those few countries in Africa where we have an established democratic tradition. We have elections on time and so on. This one was a little bit fishy, and I'm sure everybody is aware of it. So there was a time where we almost lost hope. But thank God with uh, the determination of our people. So this is a great day for Senegal, and I believe for uh, Africa as a whole. Experience is important, but I think judgment is more important than experience because you also have experience that is experience in crookery, okay? <laughs> Who need that kind of experience? So the incumbent has always been pounding that argument that the guy is young, he never held any high position, therefore giving him the country is like giving the country to adventurers. I said, don't look at what people say about themselves, look where they went and see. He said earlier the stability of Africa first and Senegal, Senegal in particular. Uh, our economy and uh, our faith in uh, all the structure of legal and all the organizations and uh, the basis of all country. Yes, it's my expectation. It's the first sector, agriculture, uh, microfinance, to improve the basis of the population. I think it is the base, the first step of the economy's improvement. I guess the president already um, told, told us about the Senegalese in his first um, um, declaration, telling that today um, Senegalese people, they need to have better life. They need to have um, all the um, essentials that, I mean, goods to be um, have price downgrade. So, I mean, um, foods, I mean, to have um, um, locations, um, okay, to, I mean, to have also better um, values in terms of uh, um, um, food, I guess. So this is the main things that populations are expecting because the life is very um, hard for them and they would like also to have those um, goods be decreased. You know, African people, um, mainly they are poor. So uh, if the government can help them to decrease the price of these essential goods, this is the main expectation that population are expecting. As ECOWAS chairman, Nigeria's president Bola Tinumbu was at the inauguration alongside other top African leaders. I believe the new president is capable. He's got the country behind him, so he has a lot of, uh, of uh, political capital. He's got a very strong mandate. Uh, it's a youthful population. And uh, we pray that uh, he will set a very good example. And of course, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is fully... Uh, there to support him as chairman of uh, the ECOWAS heads of state and, uh, and government. So uh, ECOWAS is also fully behind him. Nigeria is fully behind him and we're, we're happy. With the ceremony over, Diomaye Fay steps outside for his fourth presidential honor as the commander-in-chief. <laughs> A 
and as he steps into the car and drives to the presidential palace, residents here are hoping that this new dawn will be favorable for one of Africa's most stable democracy. Oh, he or the I, Arise News, Dakar, Senegal.